Hi, my name is Dwayne Harapnik, and I'd like to talk to you about how this course was designed to be eight weeks long and very self-directed. This means you have the opportunity to complete this course at a much quicker pace. You'll also notice that what is normally referred to as assignments are called activities. Because this is an elective course, the grading is either satisfactory or unsatisfactory. You'll still get feedback on your assignments, but because it is satisfactory or unsatisfactory, we've determined to call them activities. You'll be posting your activities in the respective forums in the course. Once you've completed all the activities, basically the course will be over. Now, one of the first activities is a getting started meeting with me. And I really encourage you to get that arranged as soon as possible. In this meeting, I'm going to have an opportunity to discuss with you how to get started, what you should be looking at, and we'll have a chance to brainstorm some of the topics and issues that you might want to explore. I really want you to be successful in this course, so I want you to get off to a good start. This first activity is just a short 15-minute meeting with me, where I'll help you think about what this course is going to look like and how it will unfold for you. I want to get you to take away that I'm here to help you out. I want you to be successful. I want to work with you as you go down your learning journey, but you will be the one that drives all the things that need to be done in this course. This course allows you to pick topics and issues that interest you as an educator. Or if you're not a traditional educator, I'm sure that in your own personal life, there are lots of things you want to become aware of regarding how the brain works. The whole field of cognitive science of teaching and learning is vast, and there is something in it for everybody. All of the work that you'll be doing in this course leads to a presentation. In order for you to be prepared for this presentation, you'll have the opportunity to attend other presentations from other people who are ahead of you in the course. They will be making their presentations, you'll have the opportunity to sit in on the presentation and see what others have done. If this doesn't work into your schedule, we are going to be recording all the presentations as well. This will allow you the chance to be inspired by what other people have done and also prepare you for your own presentation. Like all PIDP courses, there is an ORID model, a chance for you to reflectively write on one topic from the textbook. Yes, there is a textbook for this course, and I will talk about it further in another video. I really want you to know we want to create an inclusive environment for you and your learning. I also want to be respectful, and I want this classroom to be respectful as well. We're here to share, to support and help one another in our learning journeys. We will have an opportunity to do this both as individuals and as a community, where we share resources and we help one another learn about the brain and how it impacts learning. At any time during the course, feel free if you need to reach out to me. I'm available for you. I usually try to respond within 12 to 24 hours. If you want to contact me sooner by phone, you have my phone number, so feel free to text me first and then I'll get back to you. Also feel free to email me. You have my school email and that's one of the very best ways to get a hold of me. You can also schedule a meeting with me using my calendaring system. There's lots of ways to arrange a meeting or contact me. With that being said, I'm really looking forward to working with you over the next eight weeks, or perhaps you'll complete the course quicker. Welcome to the course, and let the learning begin.